All right. Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, absolutely wonderful day. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a massive redstone dirt house. You guys can see that this redstone dirt house is uh, pretty fancy. It's uh, kind of top of the notch. First, I just want to give credit to Gamer14738 for making this crazy thing. Uh, he said this map was inspired by Euclides and specially made for unspeakable plays. Look at that! Damn it, haters. If you guys do have any maps that you want to make me, feel free to send them to me over to Twitter and stuff. Um, but I also get night vision for Wells. Uh, for, for what? What I just say? I get night and uh, just, just, just forget about it. Euclides and Unspeakable, you are both my favorite, most favorite crafters in Minecraft. Thanks, dude. Thank you. So, for those of you that are curious what this is, uh, if you guys are a fan of my main channel, you've probably seen me do a showcase on a map like this where it's a little small dirt house and then it turns into a giant redstone house now i don't know if this guy completely copied that kind of design or i'm not really sure throw any item or any amount of items on the crafting table okay so if i can throw items on the maybe i have to throw them like on top did it get it oh snap what the heck oh my gosh don't forget to click that like button below guys yeah don't forget to click that like button below this is so sick sorry if the pistons are slow it's not my fault this is just how it works okay wow this is sick okay so it looks like there's about three different ways to go right now so we got this is the best room save this room for last okay i'll I'll keep his word for it. I'll save that room for last. So let's go to the purple room, I guess. So this is basically a recreation of the crazy dirt house that Euclides made me, but it's in pocket edition. This is so, so sick. So it looks like we got a couple things in this house. We got, oh, this is so sick. You can see all the names of all these items. So it actually tells you, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so for, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is actually a somewhat, I would say semi-automatic, potion brewing system um or you could call it the ultra automatic brewing station machine so what you can do is you can select the type of potion you want so let's say i want a um i want a swiftness potion which is this one and then you go over here select whether you want duration or stronger or whatever um and then i believe it's this button to brew it. I think it's this button to brew the potion. So it will start brewing the potion and then it will end up in the chest once it, it, it's done. So we'll come back to here and we'll check the chest and see if it's done. And then I think over here we have an enchanting table. Yes. Oh, sick. Oh my gosh. No, this is not just an enchanting table. This is a full enchanting room, my dudes. Full level enchanting table power. Oh, snap. Okay, so this is the enchantment room. This is customizable level powers enchanting room. Oh, that's sick. Level 107. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's go in here. Looks like we got XP charge. Okay, it should be. Yeah, I was, I was looking for a little spot that it was going to open up. So basically, you press that button. It opens up this little room. Uh, and then it gives you a ton, a ton of XP. And then once it's done giving you XP, it should just spit me out. Oh my gosh, how much XP? Okay, there we go. And then it will spit me out just like so. And then we have a hidden anvil. Okay, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay, and then I guess in these chests, we have a bunch of lapis. We also have a bunch of enchanting books. Books that haven't been enchanted yet. And lapis blocks. Even more lapis. Lapis for days. So much lapis that it broke the scale. Okay, this enchanting room is honestly really, really sick. I love the theme of it too. And then I'm assuming this button actually closes the door. Yeah, so once you're on the inside, you can close the door if you want. Um, and then what do we got over here? We got a hidden flush nether portal okay that's pretty sick that is a nice nether portal don't tell me you wouldn't want to go in that nether portal out of all nether pools you've ever seen in minecraft that is one fancy looking nether portal yeah that's a nice portal i'd definitely go in that portal okay i think we pretty much got everything for this room there's nothing down here um let's see if our potions are done yes they are there we go so we got our swiftness potions right there i'll go ahead and take one of these and then let's go ahead and head off into some of the other rooms so let's go ahead and close this one off 
because we've already done that one. And let's go to the green one, because like the map creator said, we want to save the red one for last. So I'll believe him. And it looks like the green one is a farming one. Ooh, this is pretty sick. So it looks like on the walls, we have a ton of automatic farms. So this one is an automatic egg collector. <laughs> that's pretty sick. And that's also kind of savage. Yo, these chickens, all they do all day is just sit in hoppers and just wait for them to lay eggs. And then I just collect them all. That's pretty savage. Okay, then over here, we got an automatic pumpkin farm. Then we got an automatic sugarcane farm, automatic melon farm, uh, animal breeder and cooker machine. That's pretty sick. Oh, and then over here, I guess this is where all the items end up, okay? Or, oh, wait. Wait, my bad. This is not where all the items are kept. This is where the non-automatic items are kept. So, all these farms right here, like the wheat you see right here, and the carrots and stuff you see over here, whenever you farm this stuff, you use these chests right here to store them. These chests for all these other automatic farms on the wall, they're probably someone else, somewhere else like upstairs. That's just what I'm guessing. We also got another animal breeder and cooker machine, but that's one is with sheep. Then we got melon again, sugar cane again, chicken again, but this is actually an automatic chicken farm instead of an egg collector. So that's interesting. Then we got a, another melon farm. So let's go upstairs and let's see if we can find where all these chests are. Is this it? No, maybe. Okay, it looks like this is just kind of a secret little room. Oh, okay. So this is where you can actually brew. Not brew, but um, not brew. Smelt. Smelt. Is that what I'm looking for? No, breed. Breed. That's the word I'm looking for. This is where you can breed the cows and make more of them. Hey, guys. It's Speakable here. Learning to uh, smelt my cows in Minecraft. Do you guys ever smelt a cow in Minecraft? Yeah. Or do you guys ever brew a cow in Minecraft? That's one of my favorites right there. Let's grab some of this wheat and let's press... I don't know what button does what. I need to make them jump. Oh, wait, I'm brewing them. I mean, <laughs> I'm breeding them, not brewing them. Stop, unspeakable. It's so cringy. I'm brewing my cows. Oh, yes, that's my favorite thing to do on Saturdays. I mean, Sundays, because that's when this video is going to be posted. I just love a nice evening where I brew and smelt my cows. I'm sorry. You guys can make fun of me all you want. I can't believe I, I could not think of the word you know it is too early in the morning right now for this i'm sorry all right so that's pretty much the farming room i think i covered everything in there i think i got everything did i get everything pretty sure i did i mean i don't think i missed everything or i don't think i missed anything you see how i just can't talk today you guys see how i my, 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 mouth, my mouth and my brain just don't connect today today's just one of those days where my mouth is has a brain of its own and the the minecraft is it's gonna be okay I'm sorry, guys. I've just not woken up yet. It's pretty early in the morning for me. But this is the best room, and we did save it for last. So let's see what this room has to offer. This better be flipping good. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. What is this? Okay. So we got, like, double door protection. So that's pretty sick. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We got a lot of stuff to look at. What is this over here? Actually, this is the orange. I just don't have enough space to fit the fourth room which is the chest or the yellow room okay so this is like the orange room but he didn't have enough room back there to fit it so we'll check that one out uh last but let's see what this other stuff is okay so i guess this is my bed is this my bed oh wait what is this oh snap i just like opened a secret room oh my gosh there's so much to look at the rainbow wardrobe machine okay so that is pretty sick so i don't know if you guys have seen this before but you can actually select all your armor colors so let's say i want blue green is cool purple is better and pink for the last one don't mind me um the lamp turns on if the machine is working okay so you press this button and then watch this it's gonna put all the armor on me wait for it wait for it. this is pure minecraft luxury right here give it a sec <clears throat> give it another oh, oh there it goes there it goes look at that look at that there you go. It takes, it takes a little while. It's not a very quick machine, but uh, fancy, fancy, fancy. We got the ultimate rainbow wardrobe machine. I love how all the signs on this map are like colorful. I think that's so, so cool. Okay, so let's head out of here. I guess we press this button to close it. Yeah, okay. And then what does this do? Give me ender pearls? Okay, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. How many How many does it give me? 16? I, I don't know. I'm in creative, but I can't, I can't see. I can't see anything. I'm going to clear up my inventory real quick. This is a manual. 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 It's a manual book. What is this? Oh, no, I got rid of it because I'm in creative mode. Ah! We will never know the secrets to this house. Flip. Okay, well, I know what this is anyways. So what you do is you flick the lever. Um, 
Not the lever. The item frame! You flick the item frame and it comes out with a different color shulker box. So it basically cycles through a bunch of different shulker box. And if you guys know about shulker boxes, uh, each different shulker box is a different chest. Even, even if they're the same color, they're different chests. So if I have light blue shulker boxes, I can place down three of them and you know they're all different chests it's just like a normal chest you know if you have a normal chest and you place down like three of them you can store different stuff in every single chest it's kind of like what shulker boxes are but um you can actually move them around and do cool stuff with them with pistons that's why shulker boxes are used for this machine so it's basically a chest that you can cycle through all your items uh it's really really cool and then over here we got full diamond armor that's pretty nice uh i don't know what this is oh it's psych okay now we got gold armor look at that that is fancy. That's pretty fancy. Now we got iron armor. Do we get chain? Do we get chain? Do we get... Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right. You know, diamond's fine with me. That's cool. Okay. What is this? I'm kind of scared. I'm actually really scared. Oh, so it just gave me full diamond armor. Now it's giving me a ton of golden apples. Okay, so it gave me full diamond armor, a diamond sword, and gave me 32 enchanted golden apples. Okay, you know, for a second I was scared, but now I'm happy. All right, so let's see what is across the hall. I, yeah, this is just, okay, that just goes back there. I'm just so lost. This place is just so big. Okay, so this looks like a kitchen. Wow, this is pretty sick. Okay. Oh, we got the cookie monster. No. No, oh, this is totally not my idea to build this thing. This is from Euclid's idea from PC. And this map, this is my redstone design. Okay, so if you guys don't know what the cookie monster is, Euclid's incorporates the cookie monster into a lot of his builds. And basically what you do is you press a random button and he gives you a random amount of cookies. So that one only gave me, looks like one cookie. This one might give me two cookies. This one, okay, I guess they all actually give you one cookie, but on Euclid's design, you can press random buttons and it'll give you a random amount of cookies. So for example, like this one will give you one cookie, that one will give you 10, that one will give you seven. It's just completely random. It looks like this one, just every time you press the button, it just gives you one cookie, but that's okay. And we also have a cookie counter as well for our cookie storage indicator. So it looks like, we are three-fourths, 75% of the way full of cookies. Um, personally, I don't like that. I think we need to be 100% full of cookies all the time. This is our cookie input counter. Okay, so <laughs> we got the cookie input. So this thing just takes it. Oh, that's so funny. That's so, so cool. I love that. The map creator really went all out because he didn't just do a cookie monster. He did a cookie storage indicator and he did a cookie input so we can put more cookies into it that's so so sick okay then over here we have the automatic smelter machine so these are normally my favorite these things are so cool so let me show you how they work so first let me grab some coal uh to smelt with and then let's grab something that we need to be smelted like raw beef you put the items that you use to smelt with like the coal or if you want to use the logs or whatever in the first chest and then in the second chest, you put the items that you need to be smelted. So you could do anything. You could do iron. You could do food. Really whatever. And what it's going to do is going to take these two items, combine them together, obviously smelt them. Uh, and then it's going to turn into a cooked item or a smelted item. So if you look in this chest, it's already taken half out. It's already at 35. So it's already taken half of the meat out. There you go. So if we keep opening the chest and refreshing it, it just keeps taking food out. And then it will end up in here. There we go. It's already it's already being smelted. That's so, so quick. So eventually, if you wait long enough, you will have your full stack of cooked beef, which is really, really cool. And a very necessary and helpful item for you to have in your Minecraft kitchen. And I see a painting. Don't think you can fool me. Don't think you can. Okay, you can fool me. All right, there's nothing there. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought there would be something there, but it's okay. Okay. What is this? Is there something? Oh, snap! The fridge works! Oh, snap. Okay, we got a working fridge, boys. That is so sick. And honestly, I think this is something that should be incorporated into every Minecraft house because it's so simple to make. All you need is two dispensers. Put a bunch of food in them and then get some trap get a trap door on top and an iron door on front. And then boom, you have yourself a refrigerator. So that's really, really cool. But let's see what else there is in this crazy place. I'm actually going to go ahead and clear my inventory just because I have so much stuff. But this is the orange room, which is actually the chest room so it looks like ooh, we have a combination lock this is pretty sick okay so point all the arrows towards the redstone lamp okay there we go last one there we go okay so all the arrows are pointed at the redstone lamp and then i guess we have to do this combination one two three four five six i don't think that's a combination i think it's 
this, and this. Or it's all the X's. Yeah, I think I did it wrong. I think it goes like this. Is that right? There we go. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so I got that right. Oh my gosh. I hear so many piston sounds right now. It's crazy. Jeez, what is going on down there? All right, I had to lower my volume a little bit, but I remember this room. This room actually looks very familiar. This is pretty sick. Okay, I'm not going to go down there yet because I want to save that. Let's check out this room first. So we basically walked in upstairs. I don't think there's really much we can do right here. I guess we got to go downstairs and see what this all this stuff is about. Okay, so this is basically a huge chest storage room. This thing that you're looking at right now is probably the greatest thing and most organizing and best thing ever to be put into Minecraft. For those of you that don't know, let me show you guys kind of how this works. So you have all these items right here. Now you can switch these out. Let's say you don't want the emeralds to be emeralds. Let's say you want the emeralds to be cobblestone blocks or stone blocks or whatever. You can switch these out. They don't have to be what they are. But let's say I come home after a long day of mining and I have myself a ton of diamonds. And this is how you store your items. So you go to the input chest and you put all your diamonds in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all my diamonds into the large chest and it will slowly take them. So if you look there, 63, 62, as we refresh the chest, it's slowly gonna take all those diamonds. So let's say you come back the next day and you need some of those diamonds. You need to grab some of those diamonds. So what you do, you go up, you flick the lever and then you press this button and it should give you the diamonds in the output chest. There you go, 32 just like that, okay? So boom, it's pretty quick. Um, it's just right on point, but it should give me more diamonds as well. There you go. So it's going to keep spitting out diamonds, uh, 41, 42, 43. So that is pretty, pretty sick. And then whenever you want to cut it off, just flick the lever back up and it will stop giving you all the diamonds. So that is really, really cool. And I saw something over here kind of in the corner of my eye. I'm not sure if like the redstone broke. I guess I'm supposed to actually press this button to access it, maybe, or does it not work? He did say the redstone and the pistons may be a little bit glitchy, so that's okay. Uh, that this doesn't work. I mean, hey, this map is so flippin' sick. Uh, but let's see, is this a crafting table? Okay, that's pretty sick. Crafting table comes out of the ground. What is this? Okay, so it says, rotate the arrow and make it facing towards the chest. Okay, so I've been through this game. I know what this is. So what you do is, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so once you have the combination correct, it's going to give you all this, oh my gosh, look at that armor. Once you have the combination correct, it's going to give you all this crazy crazy armor i'm putting all this on right away this is some insane armor oh my gosh okay so that's pretty sick okay i like that all right so let's see what's in here by the way unfortunately it doesn't look like the pistons are working very well uh but that's okay no worries most of this map was absolutely flawless um i'm not actually sure what this is i guess it's just a storage room i don't really know what it does I don't know. I'm kind of confused. I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something or if it if or if it just is what it is. It could be. I think it's just what it is. You know, it's just a couple chests. It's a storage room. Don't think too ahead of it. Unspeakable. I just want to see what's down here. Okay. Oh, I see what it is. So this, what this is actually supposed to do is this is supposed to actually cycle through chests. You have three minecarts with chests on them, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to press this button, and it's supposed to cycle through. So it will drop those three, and then it'll bring up three different ones, so you can store a bunch of different items. So that's what it's supposed to do. Unfortunately, it's not working, um, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, that's okay. Sometimes things get broken. I understand. We'll just fix this, and we'll act like it never happened. There we go. See? You guys didn't see anything. But seriously, though, uh, when we go back up, I, I want to test all out this uh, sword because uh, it's pretty sick. But let's open this thing. Let's see what this is. Oh, no. Oh, there's so much armor. This is so sick. I love how it's themed to the blocks. So, like, right here, you have all the gold armor. And you have all the gold in the shulker box. Then you have all the diamond and all the diamonds. You got all the iron with the iron. You got all the redstone with the redstone shulker box. That is so so sick this room was very very cool and special okay then we got some beacons down there as well that's a really sick room i'm really surprised i didn't need a combination to get into that room because if anything i feel like that room should have a crazy combination on it because no one needs to be getting into there but let's go see what we have in this room i honestly have no idea what this is oh this is it's kind of like a, a lottery machine i think so I think what you do is you put an ironing it down here as a coin. Okay, so let's go back downstairs and let's get some ironing it. So basically it's like a lottery machine and you just kind of spin and see what you can win. Let's go back into my massive lair 
of hundreds and thousands of iron. There we go. Perfect. All right. So let's go into here and let's see what this is. So put iron down here as a coin. So do I put it in the dropper? I guess. I mean, there's already a ton of iron in there. So I'm putting in my coins basically to let the machine know, hey, I'm here. I paid for it. And then you press this and I guess it should do something. Rejected items. I press the button. It doesn't seem to be rotating. Hopefully, oh, I really wanted this thing to work, but that's okay. I mean, the guy said in the beginning that there's some things that work, but I think what it does is it basically spins. And I think if you get all three of them lit up in a row, then you get nine gold. So if you get all three of them, you get nine pieces of gold, just like this. If you get two of them, whoops, I didn't mean to break that. If you get this one and this one, you get six gold, just like it says right here. And if you get the middle one, then you get three pieces of gold. And I guess this is where it gives you your items when you win. So it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't work and there's not really much we can do about it. And guys, you know, I'm not a redstone engineer like Euclid or this map creator. So I, I, you know, going behind there and trying to fix this. Oh, that will be for another video. I really hope I'm not doing it wrong, but I don't think I am. I could try moving this stuff around, maybe. I don't know. Let's try this. There we go. So now it's in the first slot. That may be an issue. I don't know. I don't think it works. I mean, I didn't break any redstone when I get back. When I went back here, I just broke this part of the wall. I don't know. It's unfortunate, but it's okay because this map was so so flipping cool. I just love it. The amount of detail that has gone into this map and the amount of creativity that the map creator has put into here. Now, this was based off a Euclides creation, but still, I mean, they had to do a ton of work to make this place different because this isn't based off the creation exactly, but it's pretty close. So they definitely did a ton of work to it, you know, importing all their own custom stuff, like what they wanted uh, in this map. So that is so, so sick. And we have an elevator going out. That is so, so cool. So I bet you guys would have never expected that from this little dirt house when you first started watching this video but i want to try something real quick put me into survival mode i want to see how strong this sword is i know of course it's going to be a one hit ko but like i'm curious like this is like look how much like sharpness 100 fire aspect 100 like it's just got to be an instant kill oh my gosh it, 42 pieces of cooked chicken 49 pieces of Okay, that's a little OP, and now I understand why they put a combination lock on that chest. Wow, that is, wow. That is absolutely crazy, and you know what else is crazy? Is that I bet most of you guys haven't hit the like button. If you guys haven't hit the like button yet, be sure to hit the like button right now to show your support for this crazy map. And to the guy that made this, I want to thank you so much. This thing was so, so cool. Crazy Gamer 14738. If you do want to make more maps for me, Crazy Gamer, please do. This thing was so awesome. And if you guys have any maps that you want to make for me and you want me to showcase on the channel, feel free to make them for me and kind of tag me in them on Twitter and stuff like that to kind of get my attention. Um, or let me know in the comment section below what your map is called and I'll try to search it up and check it out. Seriously though, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I want to really thank the guy that made this map. I just thought it was so cool that this guy made this map, uh, especially for me, especially for me to make this video over it. I just think that's so, so cool. And I want to thank all the people that have made maps, maps for me in the past. And if you guys want to make maps for me in the future, again, feel free to do so. If you have your map title, comment in the comment section below or tag me the map on Twitter and I'll be sure to check it out. But guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Again, before you guys go, be sure to click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That's going to notify you guys when I upload my new video tomorrow because I do upload videos every single day and you guys do not want to miss tomorrow's video. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Woo!